So my name is Gloria Naswana and I'm a data networks engineer here at the Ministry of ICT and National Guidance. I joined the ministry in May 2022 and have been here for that's over six months now and it's a good experience. When we talk about data networks, we're talking about all the logical infrastructure that goes into receiving data. We all know data is just raw context of information. When you create data, but to the personal, to the receiver, to the end user, it's supposed to come out as information they can easily interpret. So we deal with all those logical infrastructures, data networks, system controls, everything that goes into that to make sure that someone simply at home reading a text doesn't have to think of the numbers and the metrics we had to go through to get that information to transmit from someone's phone, like how the WhatsApp comes from one's phone to another's phone, so that you don't have to worry about, because engineers, that's what we do. Yes, so how we got here. In school, I said out, straight I knew I was going to be a doctor, because maybe it was because my grandmother was one, but I really thought that would be my age. But as in school I started out, science was always my thing. I would shine there, no trouble. But then as you grow up, you realize yourself and then you realize that going through the biology, the medical side of science wasn't going to be my strong suit. Probably I wouldn't be serving the nation better with me being there. Because thinking about the blood, dead bodies and all, it wasn't my thing. So when I realized that physics was what had chosen me, instead of me choosing it, it came so natural to me, like I would figure out laws like no other. And the excitement, like if I could borrow a saying from Rosalind Franklin, one of the ancient women in science who paved us the way, where she says that, you know what? Science is the, is the partial explanation of life. You know, like it's based on facts, experience, and experiments. Like it's, it's beautiful because for example, like you're walking there, Paul, like, why do we study math? Why are we reading this? What is this logic going to come? But then let me take it simple, like for someone who is not in science. Like you can imagine when they tell you like there's gravitational force. You throw something up and it can't stay up because there is a natural force that pulls it down. So it, it, it makes you appreciate some of the legendary scientists, what they did to put these laws in place. So some of us haven't really invented anything yet but we can work on the laws they put in place for science to make this enjoyable for everyone. How I, I, I ended up in ICT because, as I told you, I grew up in an old girl's family, but uh, I was lucky to have a mentor of mine. He's the late Dr. Musazi. He really loved uplifting women, like everyone who knew him, even the project Siren. So when it, how I chose ICT, because now I'm at HSC, and in my head I had already figured out like I wanted to go and do jet engineering. And then my parents didn't have money to support me because the course was offered in Dar es Salaam, and it wasn't in Makere. They're like, no, Makere is a good campus. And then I first struggled on what is it that I really would take me off. So why I settled to telecoms or ICT was that I've always had a lot, because with computers, I'm self-taught, like I didn't go to computer school, everything. And given the fact that I was an only girl at home, there's always that thing of like, we don't have this thing of like, I'll let the boy fix it. I was always the one who fixes stuff. They call, uh, uh, Gloria, come fix stuff. I was always the boy of that family when it came to fixing stuff. So I think also that inspired me, because you know, inspiration also comes from what's beneath you, like who is pushing you, who is giving you direction. If someone believes you can do it, and sometimes you believe you can't do it, then it gives you like, okay, let me see if they see it in me. Maybe it's there. Yeah. So that's how I came, because when I came f from the university, fresh from university, I was lucky to train with uh, civil aviation as a pure engineer there. And uh, the experience that you get from knowing what simple computers, how like someone sitting in a control room can make the world go around, it's fascinating, very fascinating. So I think it's a natural love. We, I'm in love with ICT and where, where is the trend going? You're moving away from the traditions, going to ICT. I think I'm happy, I'm happy here.
First of all, we, it all starts with how the environment you're raised into. I was lucky that the environment I was raised into didn't put me down. So probably as a mother, you're supposed to encourage your child and make them follow their love. Because there's also a problem where some girls get these things of like, maybe your parents are pushing you into science, maybe because they feel it's the in thing. That's okay, but let someone f discover who they are. It's, it's a beautiful feeling because, you know, when people are complaining that this is hard and some are not complaining, it's because you found out what, this is my lane and you stay in it. And uh, encouraging, like, the environment, First of all, get inspired by people who have done it before. Because every other time like, you get inspired by someone who's like, okay, there's nothing really that much special about her. Like she's, I'm, I'm as beautiful as she is. So how come she can do this? Then you push yourself, you find your inner strength and like, no, I can do it. At least do it and fail. But in failing, you come with a lot of experience that, you know what? Maybe even in failing, you rediscover what your lens should be, what your image should be in life. The difference between a male and female employer, because I'm lucky I've worked for both, with male employers, they have this thing of, they have reservations. Like they keep, they still have this thing that maybe this is, she's a girl, this is too heavy. But a female, especially if she's empowered enough and she's up high in the hierarchy, She'll give you this thing of like, look at me, I'm here. What makes you think that you can't be me? And that's, I think that's what's inspiring when you have like a female thing like, she, like she, she can't be baked from different clay than God did, so let me try and do this. Eh? It gives that push. But also, I cannot put down the men because we've had positive male figures that have pushed us and they're like, and they're actually intrigued. Some people would actually give you a job because you're a female, and I also don't want that to be a balance. Like, I, I, since we fought for emancipation, give us our time to shine. Leave us like we are now toddlers. We can walk, okay? We can do it. We don't have to feel like we are favored because we are female. We want to be good because we are good, not good because we are female. Role models. <laughs> okay, th that's hard. Not, not because I, I disrespect any female who is above me or what, but when you, as, as it's called a model, you, sometimes you're modeling yourself to resemble or replicate that. So I, I admire people, I admire their contributions, I admire their work, but I, I, I don't really have someone to stand up to be a role model because then that will be across all my life. Eh? Because I have other things, I'm not just one dimension or that I'm just an engineer, an ICT female. No, I have other aspects of my life. So a role model, not yet, but I really recognize like Dr. Gaba, Dr. Kabagaju Okelo. She's really an inspirational, like the things, cause she lectured me when I, was, when I was in year one, but when you see her so worried, you're like, yeah, that's my girl. So that's one of the role models. And where are we going? Where we're going trend wise? with the female movement. I think right now, because when I was in university, we were like six girls in class. But now when you go there, at least the number has increased to 20. So I, I think whatsoever the people who have come before us have done has been inspiration enough to encourage other people. Because at least girls don't have to feel like intimidated. Because let me tell you, when you're in a discussion group and they're the only female, you have egos flying around the place, you're like, eh, even if you knew the answer, you first skip quiet, everyone argues, you're like, okay, I kind of knew that, and then like you didn't speak up. So I think, let's do this to inspire the young girls that you, you have to speak up. If you know the thing and you stand that it's right, speak up. <laughs>